my friends, as the winter storm. Snow coming down in droves. We'll see if we can thaw out our announcing team of Dan Stevens, Peter O'Keefe, and Susie Calvert. Miami Dolphins, Oakland Raiders. Well, the fans definitely look pumped up and ready for today's game. Hi there, I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to the Oakland Coliseum. Standing beside me is my right-hand man, Mr. Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, we have a whole bunch of good receivers down there. You're not kidding, Dan. Both of these teams have a receiving core that can spread the field and make big plays. The Dolphins have a group of receivers with a great mix of talent. They make it awfully tough for defensive secondaries because they're just such a well-rounded, talented bunch. The Raiders possess a cadre of receivers whose underlying strength is their accurate route running, Dan. Timing is fundamental to a polished pass attack, and their route running facilitates that precise timing. Both groups should factor heavily in the outcome today, but... Only one will go home with the W. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins. But first, the toss of the coin. Hail, Hail. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. <laughs> Janikowski picks it, and we are underway. Miner gets it off the box at the 16. The Raiders have it. No one in front of them. Tackled at the 17. Denard Walker didn't panic when the ball got loose, and that was why he was able to reel it back in the boat. The Raiders will start this drive all the way down at the 17 yard line. Wheatley has it passed. Tyrone Wheatley finds the hole on this one and gains some good yardage. Wow, great blocking on that play. them take care of business. Oh, and I'll tell you what, he takes care of business throughout this play. Makes me want to hit the gym again and maybe, you know, get back down there on the field. They're going for two. The two-point conversion is good. Watch him run this baby in for two. This is a nice call. There it is. What a play. There's the signal, and we're ready. Janikowski doesn't get a lot of leg behind this one. Morris takes it at the 25. Jumbled! The Raiders have to tackle at the 30. Sam Williams didn't panic when the ball got loose, and that was why he was able to reel it back in the boat. The Raiders had an effective first drive, and we'll see if they can keep it up. They'll start at the 30-yard line. And the Bulldogs is right of center and shoots forward for nine yards. Rich Gannon is someone who likes to use his wheels. 18-year man out of University of Delaware. Here's a quarterback who can hurt you by air or by ground. Defenses have to be ready for anything when he's lined up behind the center. Second down, two wideouts on the field. Gannon picks up six on the play, and that will bring up first down. 
Rich Cannon decided at the last moment to scramble back there, and it worked out. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down together, just like that. Cannon carries it for a third time in a row, and he moves forward for seven. Rich Cannon went the do-it-yourself route on that last play. Let me tell you, that was a designed run. Everybody was prepared for him to run it, except the deep. And that's why it was a brilliant call in that situation. He gets it. Another call. Raiders. Hey, if you check out this replay, you'll find a few examples of how these guys earn their paycheck week in and week out, baby. And hey, there's no better way of earning a paycheck than knocking a few heads down there on the field. They're going to go for two here. The two-point conversion, two conversion is good. But he's going to carry the ball here, and he does his job by scampering in for two. He's in, and that's what you call a great play. There's the signal, and we're ready. Janikowski doesn't get a lot of leg behind this one. Morris feels the strong kick at the 28. Sammy Morris found a way to get some yards against the defense. Add in the weak kick, and this offense definitely comes out ahead. The Dolphins' offense takes the field, and they are already halfway there. They'll start at the 36-yard line. Chambers goes in motion. Williams picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up second down. Second down, three wideouts in the game. David Boston tried to snag one across the middle on that last play, but it was no good, incomplete. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete, and it will be third down. Chambers catches the bullet out left, and he will be short of the marker. Fourth down coming up. Turk lines up to punt after the three and out. Turk takes the snap and punts it away. Buchanan fields the ball at the 14. Bang down at the 14. Philip Buchanan fielded the ball, and although he was dropped pretty quickly, that terrible kick gives him some good field position. The Raiders will start a drive with the lead for the first time in this game. They'll begin at their own 14-yard line. Number 88 takes a tough catch, and he picks up nine. Crockett goes in motion. Back, 43! Thomas tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Zach Thomas swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in game. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Gannon puts his arm into this one, and the big catch is made with daylight in front of him. And touchdown! Touchdown, Raiders! Jerry Rice is going to make the catch. Right there, but that's only the beginning. Look at him chew up the yardage. Wasn't supposed to be a touchdown pass, but he made it one with that terrific run after the catch. He fights for every inch he can get out there so you don't leave any daylight between him and the end zone. They will go for the two-point conversion. Wheatley will get the carry on first down and gets the score. This is a nice carry here. He's going to take this baby past the goal line. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Janikowski kicks a short one. Morris gets it at the 26. Drop down at the 33. Sammy Morris got just a little past no place with that run back. He's lucky the kick was no prize because they get pretty decent field position out of that. The Dolphins stalled early last night, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at 
their 33-yard line. Chambers hauls in the pass, and that's good for six. Down! Minnis goes in motion. Smith gets the sack way back. The Raiders send in three guys. Everybody else is back in coverage, and they still get their man. Nice play. Watch this. Well, it looks like three was all they needed. They forced that one backwards, and that's going to make this third down that much harder. Yeah, they also make it easier on themselves by writing out all of the potential short yardage plays they might face. Third and long. Breaks a tackle. And he's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Raiders! Gibson picks off the ball, and he's going all the way. Nobody can stop him. Man, I hope his mom's got the VCR going. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. They're going for two. Down! The two-point conversion for his good. This is why I love this game so much. Just look at all this stuff going on down there. Great moves, big hits, true coaching. Everything's going on. These are the kind of plays that make football the greatest game in the world, hands down. Fields the short kick at the 24. Sammy Morris got just a little pass. No place with that run back. He's lucky the kick was no prize because they get pretty decent field position on that. The receivers line up as the defense settles into a nickel package. Feeling throws a bullet and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Second down, two tight ends in the game. Down! Puts a lick on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. Down. Set. Check goal. 21. Check goal. 21. Tolbert goes in motion. Feely fires this one over the middle, and this one is incomplete. David Boston muffed an almost guaranteed catch there, and as a receiver, you have to carry your weight and make the play. They don't come much more catchable than that one. Peter in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And the way convert really hurts. Tackled at the 28. Philip Buchanan racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Raiders' offense comes out and are hoping to continue their success on the ground. They will start at their own 28-yard line. Buchanan plays it on the left side, and it's complete, and he can run 40, 30, 25, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown, Raiders! Dan, this is all set up by the pass, but it's taken home by the run after the catch. Look at this, Dan. He's got one thing in his mind once he gets the ball, and that's touchdown, baby. I love a player who can take it to the next level like this. You can't coach that. like they're going Don't for two. Still gonna stop you. We back. Down! We back. <laughs> this is a nice carry. He's going to take it. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Raiders in command of this one, 40 to nothing. There's the signal, and we're ready. Janikowski kicks it off. Miner fields it all the way back at the 10. Tackled at the 29. 
It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the Turner, field. Turner. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Remote the Dolphins are fading fast and are in need of a score. Their offense will start this vital drive at their own 29-yard line. Chambers goes in motion. Smith gets the sack. Travian Smith gets a sack in the backfield. The quarterback... Looks like an even matchup out there. Five receivers, defense is countering with a nickel. Feely throws a bullet to the flat, and it's off incomplete. Marvin Minnis had that one come right to him back there. You have to catch those passes, baby. They've been having problems connecting over the middle of the field, and there was more proof of it right there. A lot of bodies over the middle, and that congestion is what they're having problems with. No one in front of them. And touchdown! Picks off the ball, and he's going all the way. Nobody can stop him. Man, I hope his mom's got the VCR going. They score again, and they are starting to pull away here. Yes, they are, Dan. They've got a nice pad now. If they stay really focused, this six. game is theirs. It looks Down. like they're going for two. We the gets the ball and, and gets the two-point two. Watch him run this baby in for two. This is a nice... The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Janikowski kicks a short one. Morris catches it at the 25. Right down at the 36. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, the turnover column has the grim news, in my opinion. If you want to win, you have to go down to the ball. Feely unloads this one to the left, and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Second down from the shotgun. Rudd makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Oh, Chambers, you better change it up because I got your number. Down. Green. Feely zings it to the right side and it's incomplete. Turk lines up to punt after the three and out. Turk makes the snap and punts it away. Buchanan fields the punt at the 27. Tackled at the 29. Philip Buchanan didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Raiders have yet another shot at scoring and are in command. Their offense takes the field and starts this drive at their own 29-yard line. Cannon throws a bullet and it's tipped. Incomplete. Can you deal with this? Wheatley takes it for his second carry and gains about three yards. Miner had to leave the field right earlier right in the game, now. and now Susie Calber has a report. Susie? Thanks, Dan. I just talked to the trainers. They said his forearm is in quite a bit of pain. They're looking at him right now. He seems to be in serious pain. The official word on his return, doubtful. Dan, back to you. Thanks, Susie. Gannon zings it to the right side, and the completion is made. Short of the markers, however. That will bring up fourth down. Gannon passes up the ball. First down, and converts the fourth down. What? Oh, I love watching great plays like this again. It's great the first time around, but it's really sweet on the replay. Oh, I just can't get enough of this action. What a tremendous display of athleticism. And Charlie Tackle back to 39. That will bring. Dan, watch this play unfold. These guys are so talented. It's really just amazing to sit back and watch them take care of business. Oh, and I'll tell you what, he takes care of business throughout this play. You want to hit the gym again and maybe, you know, get back down there on the field. Gannon gains five on the play, and that brings up second down. Come on, 
Second down for the eye. One man to beat. Breaks the tackle. Chase down at the 15. First down. And this is why I love this game so much. Just look at all this stuff going on down there. Great moves, big hits, true coaching. Everything's going on. These are the kind of plays that make football the greatest game in the world. Hands down. One man to beat. He's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Raiders. Wow, this was a really nice play, Dan. And it worked out from so many angles. But the main thing I love is all the little details. Oh, this is the stuff our camera crew is so good at capturing every little shot, guys. Well, they wanted to run this bad boy past the line, but in the end, there's no room, and he's dropped before he could get the two. There's the signal, and we're ready. Janikowski kicks this one away. Chambers fields the kickoff at the 11. Tackled at the 33. Chris Chambers took a kick that wasn't so hot and burst through the defense for a big game. The Dolphins haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their 33-yard line. Williams has his number called on first down and will lose about a yard here. Second down, one man down. Down! Set! Conrad goes in motion. Rips it down in the backfield and the clock will continue to run. Ted Washington was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That's his second Black tackle 15. so far. Switch! Black 15! <laughs> Feely wipes it out left side and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Namdi Asamuga wasn't phased at all on that play by the crossing pattern. He held close and broke up the pass. No catch. Peter, the defense stood tall and forced the incompletion, but I don't understand that call. Uh, they wouldn't have gotten much at all, even if it was complete. Fourth down either way, and in my opinion, too, a bad call. 45, stop at the 47. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. These guys are just rolling off the points. Just look at that number of drives and the number of touchdowns. Efficiency. Wheatley has the ball and chews up about four on the play. Second down, five yards to go. Down! Madison makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Sam Madison came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Gannon throws this on a rope. And this one is incomplete. Will Poole had superb coverage on that play. No wonder it was incomplete. Fourth down, and the punting unit is on the field. He's going to throw it. Back down at the 44. Antoine Edwards does a great job reacting when he sees the passes off base and steps in to catch it. The snow can be such a wild card in the passing game. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Dolphins are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their 44-yard line. Feely throws a bullet to the flat, and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Gets this. The Dolphins take their first time off. Let's step it up. We got this one. Then go back. Then go back. Down. Set. Feely on fourth to the left side. The Dolphins will take a timeout. That's their second. First down, two wide outs on the field. Down. Set. The Dolphins take a timeout. That's their final one. Down! Set! It's the sack, and the clock will continue.
continue to run. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Boston catches it in the flat. Turk gets ready to punt this away. Philip Buchanan to make the return. Turk takes the long snap and punts it away. Buchanan fields the punt at the 13. Stopped at the 21. Philip Buchanan did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Raiders offense takes the field with the clock at 14. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Number 88 went for it on that last one with a long distance fly route, but couldn't make it happen. Incomplete. Peter, oh, I tell you, he, he seems to be in a bit of a funk recently. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, that's his fourth ball thrown his way, and, and he can't reel them in. Yeah, funky, Dan. He's just got to grab one to get his confidence back, though. Gannon lets it go deep down the right side, and the reception is made for a first and more, and touchdown! is going to make a great play right here. He snags the football and then really turns on the juice. That's his second TD reception, and obviously the passes are coming his way when they get in the red zone. Well, he's taken on the role of scorer today, Dan, and i got to tell you, he's filling that role nicely. He's going to throw it. Number 44 Two catches it over the middle. This is a nice grab here on a nice route. Check it out. There it is. And that, my friends, is two points. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Raiders in command of this one, 62 to nothing. And now let's send you... There's the signal, and we're ready. Mare kicks it off to begin the second half. Vargas decides to take it out of the end zone. Ground to a halt at the 20. Let's go down to Susie Culver, who has an update for us. Susie. Thanks, Dan. Head coach Norv Turner gave me a moment to speak to him at halftime. He's been thrilled with their defensive execution today. They've shut them out defensively, and our offense has been taking care of business. We can't get cocky. We just have to keep after it and give them no chance to come back on us. Back to you, fellas. Susie, thank you. Wheatley gets the toss and moves forward for seven. Gannon will get the carry on second down and gets the first and more. 15, five, and he's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Raiders. This is one beaut of a run, and that, <laughs> that's an understatement, my friend. Look at him go here. Move, speed, and a little bit of flash all the way to the end zone, baby. You can't coach that kind of individual performance. out of just any old quarterback. 100-yard games are usually reserved for your starting running back. Hey, if you check out this replay, you'll find a few examples of how these guys earn their paycheck week in and week out, baby. And hey, there's no better way of earning a paycheck than knocking a few heads down there on the field. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number 26 fields the short kick at the 25. Tackled at the 36. Number 26 tried the return, but I think because the kick was so short, the D was already there to dismantle the run back. The Dolphins offense has taken the field, and they have been having a very tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as they start off at their 36-yard line. Williams takes his fourth carry of the game and will lose about a yard here. Washington sacks him back at the 30. 
Ted Washington set this offense back a few with that sack. You know, if there's such a thing as anti-momentum, they're feeling it. That will be two losses in a row. Great reads by the D on the last two plays, Dan. Five-yard penalty. Repeat third down. One sack got a little too excited back there, Dan. That'll get him a call for encroachment. Third down, empty back to him. Feely zings it to the right side, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Turk lines up to punt after the three and out. Turk gets the snap and punts it away. Buchanan catches it at the 23. Breaks the tackle. Back down at the 33. Philip Buchanan did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Raiders will start this drive at their 33-yard line. Buchanan throws a heater right sideline and it's tipped. Incomplete. Second down, one man down. Wheatley takes it off the toss and heads up field. Down! Gannon gets all of his arm into this pass and it's tipped. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Arturo Freeman came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. You know, as a team, they are batting down passes left and right. That is their sixth so far. Wow, great anticipation of the pass. Number 88. Out to the left and is at the 15. Number 88 throws out a play ball in the NFL. He makes the Well, those are some impressive numbers. Look at those yeah! receiving yards. One man to beat. No one in front of him. Ten. Touchdown. Touchdown, Raiders. Dano, this is one beaut of a run, and that, that's an understatement, my friend. Look at him go here. Move speed and a little bit of flash all the way to the end zone, baby. You can't coach that kind of individual performance. Look at that. Over 200 yards. Incredible game. The two-point conversion. Watch him run this baby in for two. This is a nice call. There it is. Oh, what a play. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Janikowski doesn't get a lot of leg behind this one. Number 26 feels the short kick at the 25. Right down at the 31. Number 26 tried the return, but I think because the kick was so short, the D was already there to dismantle the run back. The Dolphins stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at the 31-yard line. Boston goes in motion. Harris tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Napoleon Harris targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. And he did a super job of lining up his man and then oh, taking him down. That's a great battle down and this guy with the D1. Pursuit. John Perello makes a nice stop in the backfield here, throwing his... Time to make a stand. Let's make a stand. Sixty-nine. Brown, sixty-nine. Yeah, tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Turk lines up for the punt. Turk takes the snap and punts it away. Buchanan fields the punt at the 30. Breaks the tackle. Runs out at the 41. Philip Buchanan did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. 
The Raiders. Offense takes the field, and they have had some big running plays. We'll see if another one is in the works. We start at their 41-yard line. Wheatley dodges this one way out right and heads wide right. Five. He's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Raiders. Tyrone Wheatley delivers a powerhouse stiff arm that really leaves no room for argument. Big play there. You know what they do. There's the signal, and we're ready. Janikowski kicks it off. Chambers catches it back at the two. Drag down at the 24. Chris Chambers got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Dolphins have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 24-yard line. Williams gets the call on first down and maybe picks up one on the play. Michael didn't haul that one in and it falls incomplete. Third down and five wide receivers take the field. Feely throws a beauty to the right side and it's intercepted. No one in front of him. He's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Raiders. Eric Gibson picks off the ball, and he's going all the way. <laughs> Nobody can stop him. Man, I hope his mom's got the... gets the signal, and we're set. Janikowski doesn't get a lot of leg behind this one. Morris gets it at the 24. Return Tackled at the 37. Sammy Morris got just a little past no place with that run back. He's lucky the kick was no prize because they get pretty decent field position out of that. The Dolphins were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at the 37. And Washington gets the sack deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, yeah. That's going to push them back, way back. Great defensive play. Another sack by this defensive squad, and they have generated awesome, very shocking numbers so far. I don't know about shocking, but hurting, yes. Feely zips it to the left sideline, and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Philip Buchanan played his coverage very snug, and as a result, the pass is incomplete. The play had potential, but the defense had other ideas. They forced an incompletion and also force a third and long. That's the perfect. First down, both tight ends left. Down! Set! Motion! Motion! Red 52! Red 52! Feely throws a bullet to the flat, and the catch is made for a gain of a couple. Craig Smith, Smith with the tackle. The They're going air. They're going air. I see pass. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Raiders in command of this one, 90 to nothing. It's intercepted. Left down at the 32. 
Check out this replay, Dan. Watch the focus here. He's got it, and I must say that was some clever maneuvering to get into a position where he could pick it off. You can't coach instincts like that. Yet another interception for this defense, and they're making passing just about impossible so far. Absolutely. Great reads, great jumps on the ball, great athletes. It's all happening down there. Gannon just rifles this one, and it is not reeled in, incomplete. Zach Crockett was open on the outskirts there, but just couldn't make the grab. Incomplete. Potential for some nice yards, but it falls incomplete. That will bring up second down. Second down, two tight ends in the game. Crockett must be on the wrong page here, way off and incomplete. You know, Dan, the snow on that last play made the ball kind of wet and slick. So that's the problem there, no catch. Carries it off the toss and gets taken down well short of the markers. Fourth down coming up. Patrick Sertan just planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers. But the only thing that's going to grow there is that he's morale. And the second tackle so far. I love watching great plays like this again. It's great the first time around, but it's really sweet on the replay. Oh, I just can't get enough of this action. What a tremendous display of athleticism. First down, yards to go. Wheatley chews up four yards, and that brings up second down. That's where I'm second and five. Larry, 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 down! <laughs> Wheatley takes this one way out left and heads wide left. <laughs> Finally. Tyrone Wheatley gets down and dirty on this one. Check it out. Oh, a stiff arm like that can really open up holes. What a run. Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. <laughs> Wheatley gets the toss and runs into traffic. One man to beat. Touchdown. Tyrone Wheatley sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. Another touchdown, and they are really running away with this one. <laughs> the crazy thing is, they aren't showing any signs of slowing down. He's going to throw it. No good. Incomplete. Well, the plan was there. The receiver was there. But in the end, the catch. There's the signal, and we're ready. Janikowski rockets this one deep. The Dolphins let this bounce out of the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins' offense comes out, and they are way down late in the game. They'll need some magic as they start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Faces the bullet out left and loses yards on that one. Second down, down, three wide outs in the game. Blue 19! Feely uncorks this to the left sideline, and it's intercepted. Tackle at the three. It'll be first. Philip Buchanan not only shanghais the football for the interception, but watch. Gets a few more after the catch. Great play all around him to react, make the catch, and then get some yardage to boot. You can't coach that. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Raiders, offense takes the field. They're in command, and they'll probably to take the time off the clock. They start at the three-yard line. This is a good call here, Dan. These short yardage plays are a lot harder than you think, but on this one, they tough it out on the ground and get everything they need. He'll get the touchdown, and he does it in style. Beautiful play. Howard makes the tackle just behind. Well, they wanted to run this bad boy past the line, but in the end... There's the signal, and we're ready. Janikowski kicks a short one. Wilkins gets it off the bounce at the 10. 
stop at the 21. Terrence Wilkins got a few yards off the run back there. Add that to the somewhat shallow kick, and that's a pretty good job by the special teams. The Dolphins' offense is now on the field, except for a few big plays. They really can't be happy with their passing game up to this point. We'll see what they call on this drive as they start at their own 21-yard line. Feely throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception is made for a pickup of maybe a yard. Michael hauls it in right side, and that's good for a game of five. Third down with the tight end right. Feely throws a bullet to the flat, and it falls incomplete. This one falls incomplete. Namdi Asamuja does some brilliant coverage work here, guarding against the corner. He derails the pass there, saving his team. Whoa, a lot of yardage. They don't get the fourth down conversion they needed, Peter, although I don't think they should have punted it away. Now that far behind, they are definitely in go-for-broke mode. Unfortunately, they got broke. The Raiders offense takes the field, and can they capitalize on the defensive stop? Well, they'll start this drive at the 26-yard line. Gannon decides to run this instead and rambles for about five. Second down and four wideouts in the game. And he's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Raiders! Wow, this was a really nice play, Dan. And it worked out from so many angles. But the main thing I love is all the little details. Oh, this is the stuff our camera crew is so good at capturing every week. Great job, guys. Over 250 yards. The team's not over. This is a nice carry here. He's going to take this baby past the goal line straight to Toosville. That, that's a great play. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Janikowski kicks a short one. Chambers gathers it up at the six. Crosses the field, right down at the nine. Chris Chambers tried to make something happen, but the defense grounded him before he got very far. The Dolphins were stopped on fourth down last time. We'll see what happens as they start this drive at their own nine-yard line. Feely zips it to the left sideline, and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Down! Richter! Richter! Set! Take him back! Take him back! Austin grabs the bullet and is well past the markers for a first down. Feely lops this one out to the left and it's intercepted. No one in front of him. Tackled at the one. It'll be first and goal. Rod Woodson has a monster play for the D. He picks off the ball here and then takes it downfield for a huge game. Man, you cannot coach that. Yet another interception for this defense, and they're making passing just about impossible so far. Absolutely. Great reads, great jumps on the ball, great athletes. It's all happening down there. It's all... And this is why I love this game so much. Just look at all this stuff going on down there. Great moves, big hits, true coaching. Everything's going on. These are the kind of plays that make football the greatest game in the world. And down. The two-point two is good. Dan, watch this play unfold. These guys are so talented. It's really just amazing to sit back and watch them take care of business. Oh, and I'll tell you what, he takes care of business throughout this play. Makes me want to hit the gym again and maybe, you know, get back down there on the field. There's the signal, and we're ready. Danikowski kicks this one away. Chambers feels the kickoff at the eight. Chris Chambers got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back. The Dolphins start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 1.52. 
Steely. Right to the oh. left side and the catch. The Dolphins take their first time out. Second down, one man back. Chambers didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Power up, defense, power up. Single back, single back. Down, set, green, 22. Feely throws a big rainbow here, and this one is incomplete. J.R. Tolbert ran a post pattern on that last play, but he couldn't make the catch. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, Charles Woodson denies the offense a big gain here. He stays close on the fly route. Now make sure there's no chance at a completion. You can't coach that, baby. Well, I'm they don't luck, convert Tim. on fourth down, and that will be it for them. Chalk this one up. The Dolphins will take a timeout. That's their second. First down, empty backfield. Gannon will keep this one himself and takes it up field. The Dolphins take a timeout. That's their final one. First down, the clock is stopped at 127. Why the receivers lined up, the D's got it. Oh, I love watching great plays like this again. It's great the first time around, but it's really sweet on the replay. Oh, I just can't get enough of this action. What a tremendous display of athleticism. The two-point conversion. Well, he's going to carry the ball here, and he does his job by scampering in for two. He's in, and that's what you call a great play. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Janikowski kicks it off. Wilkins catches it back at the 10. Stopped at the 29. Terrence Wilkins tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The Dolphins start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 123. Boston catches it in the flat, and the clock continues to wind down. Feely throws a bull to the flat, and it's caught at the 33. Third down, two yards to go. Boston is in the flat end. No, we stopped. Okay, bring him out. Bring him out. We got the chains. Not even close. Not even close. No first, baby. No first. Yeah, no first, baby. No first. Man. Fourth down. Fourth down. Fourth down. Fourth down. Feely throws a heater and it's caught short of the markers. Tyler Brayton is here to play, I tell you. What a stop on fourth down. It's worth another look. Oh, huge tackle, huge play. Well, they don't convert on fourth down, and that will be it for them. Yeah, chalk this one up in the L column, Dan. It's all over. The Raiders' offense is on the field, and they can wrap up the game. They'll start at the 38-yard line. Knight makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Sammy Knight knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. Another battered ball. They have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Gannon makes the long, long pass, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Sammy Knight swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting there. That's his third batted ball. And he is doing his part, that is for sure. Nice to see aggressive D like that, Dan. Rice goes in motion. Knight tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. It'll be fourth.
fourth down. Sammy Knight came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. He records yet another batted ball, and I'll tell you, he's really playing well out there. Yeah, he's been after the ball from the beginning of the game. Real aggressive play. Reggie Howard came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. He's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Raiders. Tyrone Wheatley has a great offensive line in front of him. They made that play happen. Yep, those blockers opened up the hole for him. A huge game. Another touchdown, and this lead is insurmountable with the clock ticking away. Domination, Dan. Domination. They will go for the two-point conversion. Gannon goes right up the middle and gets the two-point conversion. Hey, if you check out this replay, you'll find a few examples of how these guys earn their paycheck week in and week out, baby. And hey, there's no better way of earning a paycheck than knocking a few heads down there on the field. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Janikowski kicks this one away. Wilkins fields the kickoff at the 7. Tackled at the 28. And that is going to do it for this one. The Raiders come out on top, a bunch to nothing. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. <laughs>